y'all see what I see? Two there. The other one is still up there. What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. I am at the dentist's office. Um, I've already taken some x-rays. I'm now waiting for the doctor to come in and talk to me about the process. Um, I feel pretty good. I'm not nervous at all because I know nothing is going to take place today. It's just going to be a consultation and set an appointment to probably have some extractions taken out and then move forward from there. Just wanted to check in with you guys right quick and I'll talk to you guys as my day go on. All right guys, I am out of the dentist's office, been out of it for a few hours now. I've uh, went and ate something and uh, just want to give you guys a quick update on how the dentist uh, visit went and what's the next step and when is the next step, which is happening pretty quickly pretty quickly all right so the dentist and i we talked about it he took the x-ray came back showed me the x-ray and you know he definitely highly suggested i do get a deep cleaning uh somewhere in the midst of this procedure that i'm about to do and i was like okay because i was dreading getting a deep cleaning oh my gosh but you know he again made it seem like just like the other dentist i went to that you know it's in my best interest to get the deep cleaning and all of that stuff because he said it cleans deep into your gums this that and the other so i was like okay but he wasn't telling me to get it done before i get the other work done he said <clears throat> it's going to be a period of six to nine months that i'm going to have some temporary teeth in my mouth until they give time for my gums to adjust and do whatever and so the plan now moving forward is that i'm going back on wednesday yes can you believe it wednesday of this week i'm going back to the dentist and they're going to ex extract the number of teeth that we agreed on the dentist and me to pull and i'm not getting implants i'm not getting implants i'm getting uh partials top and bottom. I know a lot of you were throwing out how expensive your uh, dental work was and uh, getting implants and everything. And I never mentioned what type of dental work I was getting, but I'm not getting implants. I'm getting partials up to a little up the front and a little up the bottom. So all in total, he and I agreed to have seven, seven teeth pulled yes so on wednesday i'm going to have seven teeth pulled they're going to the way they do it is i'm going in there twice on wednesday i'm going in i have an eight o'clock appointment where they're going to uh take an impression of my teeth then i go back a few hours later i think i go back at one and that's when they're going to extract the teeth and give me my, I guess, my temporary uh, partials so that, you know, I won't go toothless for six to nine months. Now, I don't know how they're going to do that that fast, but I guess they know they got, they, you know, they do what they do. But yeah, that's the plan. So Wednesday, I'm going to have some teeth in my mouth. <laughs> I was so leery about getting that many tooth pulled at teeth pulled at one time. But I spoke with a good friend of mine and, you know, her husband went through the same thing at the same dental office. 
and you know she asked him a couple questions and he said that i'll be fine and all this kind of stuff and my friend and i we had a conversation about i'm gonna have to learn how to talk all over again with you know but you know it is what it is and so that's that's what's coming up i don't know whether to be uh <laughs> nervous about it or not. I don't feel nervous about it yet, but I guess we'll see how I react once I actually go in there and start having these uh, teeth pulled. But yeah, that's the update on the dentist work. Uh, things have are moving pretty quickly, which I'm happy in a way that I don't want to just keep on prolonging it and, and waiting till after I like come back from my Texas road trip or wait till I come back from my Mexico trip and everything. I'm gonna have two weeks to try to get some type of adjustment before I go on the road trip with uh, Michael, which is great. Uh, actually two and a half weeks because I'm getting it done in two days. So that's gonna be great that I have that time to kind of adjust and get a, excuse me, get a feel of what's going on. So that's my dental update. Now moving on to I went to the bank today and applied for a loan to get a new vehicle. Oh, excuse me. I'm back to burping again because I'm starting to eat this goddamn Mickey D's food and I'm sitting back in my car and my whole digestive system is not right <laughs> again. <laughs> but um, it didn't go well at the bank, but I wasn't upset because there are various reasons that it didn't go well. And I understood those reasons. And for that, I wasn't really upset. I do have a plan B and a plan C in order now. Now, my plan A was to do the RV, but I tried my plan uh, B today, which was to uh, get this the stand-up vehicle. But the, the bank is just one financial institution. So I'm like, okay. So my next step is... I'm going to go back to PA probably Thursday or Friday of this uh, week, maybe Friday. And I'm gonna go to a dealership. And I'm going, because the dealership tries to reach out to multiple financial institutions. Uh, I really think that I did not get uh, approved for it. For, I think the main reason is because of my source of income. And I don't have, because I didn't even go back to to see what the reasons are. Because in my mind, it can only been two reasons. One is I have that foreclosure on my credit of my home. That's still on there. I got another year before that goes off. And two is my my source of income. Maybe they don't think I've been, I've done it long enough. I don't have enough um, YouTube uh, months uh, on my belt, under my belt. But I did get and in this envelope is a printed copy, a printed copy of my past six months of uh, my YouTube earnings. So I do have something physical that I can take into the dealership and show, hey, this is what I do. This has been my earnings for the last six months uh, on YouTube as a YouTube content creator. And hopefully, you know, uh, a financial institution will give me... Um, alone and you know i'm even thinking about putting down some money to even help me out better you know because now i'm thinking about you know having a vehicle that i can stand up in i am i'm ready to get out of the car now it's been a year now you know i've completed my goals that i initially set out to do which was to pay this car off and have a certain amount of money saved up in my savings account. I, I completed those goals and I'm now ready to actually get out of the car. And so if the next attempt does not work, I, I think I'm going to feel disappointed because I'm, I'm going to start feeling like I'm running out of options. But even if the dealership one falls through for whatever reason. Um, I still have another plan, and that plan is to purchase a used minivan, trade my car in, and then pay the difference out of pocket. So one way or another, I'm getting out of this car. 
trust me. And I I wouldn't think that getting a minivan is settling. I wouldn't think that because I lived in one for two and a half years. So I wouldn't think that I'm settling. It's definitely a step up from what I am in now. I know the layouts. I know what I can do with a minivan. So I would be okay with having a minivan too. Even though right now, you know, the thought of having something that I can stand up in, which really has never been a priority of mine being able to stand up. But it did start sounding nice when the possibilities of me being able to afford something that I can stand up in. So if it all fails for the stand up vehicle, I am definitely, I definitely know that I can get a minivan because I definitely can trade this car in and I definitely can put down the balance of it so that I won't have no car payments, um, still be out of debt. And, you know, so to me, getting a minivan is not going to be the end of the world, you know, but, and I won't feel like I'm settling for it anyway. You know, maybe that's a sign that's telling me, you know, just trade your car in and pay off the rest and be done with it, you know, and be done with it. But I feel good though. I feel good. I feel good. You know, I thought for sure that when I got turned down that I was going to feel a little bummed out and feel sad, but I don't, I don't because I have two other options and I know for sure that one of those options is going to work out. I fully believe that, you know, so let's just move forward, you know, <laughs> see how things go this weather is something else oh my gosh we went from from here to here anywho that's my day today guys um i'm really excited about getting getting the grill so the next time you guys see me i might have my new setup uh, and up in there you know shit i should eat a nice good meal tomorrow so <laughs> just in case <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that work out all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video as always thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos i appreciate you guys you know that and i'll see you guys the next time